Well, hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermist Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thundermist Fishing Tips. You know, if this is any indication, it's my fifth cast in and I think we're in for a great day. We're out here fishing the salt water of Buzzards Bay. Oh boy, we're gonna be running bucktail jigs, viper spoons and boa jiggers. And right now, I've got myself a decent sea bass with a mouthful of bucktail. So stay tuned folks, we're sure to have a great show. I just caught a glimpse of them, I... What on oh, earth? I think it's a big moon. What is it? What is that? I don't know. That's... It's a striper. Oh, a striper. Yeah, it's right a striper. On. Yeah, it's a striper. That's awesome. And the bullet jigger. Oh, yeah. Look no, the right to the side there. Oh, there you go. Awesome. There's a little striper for you. That's great. Let's take them off the hook. There you go. Mr. Striper, he gave you a run for your money, didn't he? Yeah, that was a lot of fun, let me tell you. Little schooly. Nice. It's a size here? Oh, they gotta be 28, so well, he's, he's not gonna quite he's measure. Not gonna make it. Yeah. You can see him now, he's not that big. Whoa. It's a blue you fish. Bring him around, little blue, eh? Yeah. You got the net? Yeah, I got the net. Look at him go crazy. Oh, yeah, there you nice. go, Phil. Thanks, Eve. Beauty, that's a nice little blue fish. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice looking. What did you have on there? A strip of mackerel? I had a whole mackerel on. A whole mackerel. I let it ride. Beautiful. That was awesome. Oh, he just hammered that boa jigger. Oh, it's a nice sea bass. Sea bass? If you're done with that net, Bill. Okay. There he is there. Mr. Bluefish. There he is there. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, there you go. That's a good oh, one. Oh, look at that. You gotta love that. That black is really hot today. That black worm. Hey? Awesome. That's what I got the striper on too, the black worm. You gotta love that. Beautiful. <laughs> Another good hookup, Phil. Yeah. I saw that hook set. That's what I call a hook set. On the boa jigger again with the black trailer. They love that black worm on that boa. You know what? Is it another blue fish or? This is my first blue on a boa. No, look at a, that. It's, it's blue. a blue. Yep, it's a blue. This is the first for me right here. Jigging spoon bluefish. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! He's not done yet. He <laughs> just, just, they don't like the net. Okay, you well, Oh, wow. one-handed hook set. That was awesome. Nice. Oh. Boy, he wanted that badly. That used to green a bit. You got him? Beautiful, right in the snow. Good hook set. That's my first blue of the boa. Yeah. Little guy. Those are really nice on the grill. A lot of people don't like eating bluefish, but I'll tell you folks, if you take that bluefish and you remove that dark muscle meat on the blue and put them on the grill with some lemon and olive oil, it's absolutely dynamite. Phil, well, just, as, just, as you, oh. just as you put that down, <laughs> I went to bring in my bucktail and this bluefish just hammered it. It must be in a blue zone here. Your turn to land. All right. I've got no wire leader on though, so I gotta be very careful. You ready? I still got bluefish slime on me. There we go. Nice. Nice little guy. Oh, am I ever lucky to land him? Very, very lucky to land that fish. Wow. Okay. He actually, I'll tell you what happened after we got that blue off the hook for you. I grabbed my line and I just started to bring it in and he hit it on the retrieve and I had him on momentarily. He came off, right? And he came off, so I just open up the bale, let that bucktail fall right back down again. I've seen that. And he hammered it. That was great. Oh, I love it. It's two, two hits in one. <laughs> okay, after I caught that blue, you want to check your line to make sure that it's not, it's not frayed in any way. Otherwise, you run the risk of losing the next fish. And I'll tell you what I'm doing just to work in this bucktail. I'm casting it quite far. And the reason I could do that is we're just fishing open water. There's no, uh, there's no weeds here or nothing like that. So it's not as if my bucktail is gonna get caught on anything. And by casting it far, 
I'm able to cover a lot more ground as, as opposed to just letting the line go in front of me in the boat. So I'm covering, I'm covering a lot of water by using that approach. And the way we're drifting right now, my bucktail jig is actually sweeping across that whole area. It'll end up in front of me eventually, but I've covered a lot of ground and maybe, a, and maybe some different depths and different structures. So that's just a great way to work these bucktail jigs. And when you do that, because you're casting so far, I'm running 30 pound, oh, I just had a hit. I'm running 30 pound braid. And I have a fluorocarbon leader on there just in case the fish are a bit uh, spooky. So running straight braid to your, to your bucktail or to your lure, it's okay, but what happens is those fish will see it and uh, you might not catch as much fish. So I always like to use a fluorocarbon leader when I'm running braid.